Hey everybody. Me and Scooter's riding around in the country. Hey Scooter. Peter Peter. Camera shy a little shit. Peter Peter. Peter. Peter Peter. <laughs> yeah, we just riding around the country today, taking it for his evening ride. He likes this road here because there's a bunch of cows and chickens and goats and horses and shit and I guess I guess the smell of it all just you know I guess you'd have to be a dog to understand it alright I'm going to show you a few things and uh, that's about it hey, uh, appreciate y'all watching the channel sure do every one of you Got some new subs. I'm almost to 700. Woohoo! <laughs> if I stop being a smart ass and pissing people off, it's probably a thousand. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to sit here and drive with a dog's butt. Pew pew! Alright, I'm back in a minute. I've gone about a mile or so and, uh, coming down here. I believe this is uh, Mortar Creek. I'm not sure though, but it sure would be good. I, I got somebody coming up quick, so I'm going to pull over here and let them go by. I think it's Mortar Creek, but I don't know. But it looks like a good one to hunt and get off in there. It's got a lot of gravel in it and bars. That, that'd probably be some stuff in there. Alright, later. Alright, we're coming up on another creek. I don't know if this is a switchback from the last one or another one leading this way. On this way. I had to look on the map, but I've never hunted these. The sole fact that the private property depends on if the creek is navigable. And that's uh, a very vague and ambiguous term. See, there's a gravel bar down there, and it's a nice creek. Beautiful. Yeah, I believe there would be some artifacts if I could ever get up in there. But like I said, the, it's got to be a navigable, navigable creek before it's uh, public property. So uh, that's a debatable subject at best, you know. I'm coming up. I'm coming up in the backside of Elmore, Alabama, right now. And uh, there's an old house here. Check this out. Where did he go? Right there. Check that shit out. That's old as crap. I bet if you get out there and metal detect, you probably find some goodies. But uh, you probably find a good old rattlesnake too. <laughs> Guarantee you. There was two more over here. They demoed them. Peter! <laughs> That's the camera shyest dog I've ever freaking seen in my life. Get that right, Skeet. Peter, Peter! He won't even look. Come on, smile for the cameras. Smile! Show him the Peter, Peter! Man, that's my partner in crime right there. He's half pit bull, half red hitter, and he's uh, he's not really friendly. He don't like nobody. He will bite. But uh, as for a personal dog, you couldn't ask for a better one. No question about it. Alright, we're in Elmore, Alabama. <laughs> Ain't much to it. Ain't much to it at all. There's the post office. Couple of that's a holiness church. There's some snake people, I reckon. Town hall and shit like that. This is this is Elmore. <laughs> All right, later. Hey y'all, this is Jones. You back? We're in uh, Spainer, Alabama, just a couple miles north of uh, of Elmore. And about 20 years ago. I used to live right up in here. Yeah. 
horrible place. Horrible place, I'm telling you. Ain't no fun. For three and a half freaking years. I can't even go to the zoo to this day. Because of, uh, to me, a zoo ain't nothing better than a, it, 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 it's like a prison for freaking animals, man. I can't stand it. We're going to go this way, go through the spillway, and head back out. Alright, be back in a minute. Okay, we're still on DOC, Department of Corrections property. I can't believe I come over here. <laughs> this is the spillway that drains this uh, gravel pit on the side of me. Whoa, come up too quick. The first time I came through this spillway, I was shackled and chained up like the freaking elephant man. I was on a bluebird bus heading out from the process in prison. And uh, I thought, if this damn bus sinks, we're all screwed because we're all chained up together. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Sometimes I'll tell you all some penitentiary stories. All right. Later. Hey, everybody. We're still riding, riding, riding. I love riding these country roads with my best friend right here. Only bad thing is I can't make him designated driver. <laughs> We're coming up on another old house. It's pretty damn cool. It ain't got tore down yet. Like everything else let's see where am I at okay, pull over watch it skater watch the bushes dust storm and we just got an inch and a half of rain the other day and check this shit out it's so freaking dusty Where's this freaking house at? Right. Nope, that ain't it. That's just some shit. There's a whole shack right there, right beside the freaking road. There it is. Check this out. That is an old freaking house, man. I let it get up in there and poke around. There's even an outbuilding right up in there. Shoot, man, that's that's a hundred years old, easy. Not 150. All right, I'll be back later. Hey, everybody, we're uh, in between Elmore, Alabama, and Cusada, Alabama, on Bellingrath Road. And uh, it's named after an old plantation from the Civil War. And believe it or not, the house is, is still here. We're coming up into the backside of it. Wow, they're logging all the way down here. Clear cut. And that might not be a bad place to stop and uh, look at where it's been chewed up. Because there's a creek right here. Yeah, that wouldn't be, that'd be worth a look. Why are your snake boots? <laughs> and uh, we're coming up on the uh, the, the pecan orchard. You can always find old uh, Civil War plantations and homesteads because every damn one of them have pecan orchards. And uh, I guess the bigger the orchard, the bigger the plantation. This is a pretty pretty big orchard, but you can tell it's overgrown. It don't produce anymore. They let it go. I'd like to get up in there and do some mal detecting. Yeah, buddy. All this here is planted pines. I guarantee you they used to be cotton fields. 
and uh, they just planted them in pines. I mean, that's a good investment. It takes 20, 25 years to get your money back, but Lord, it's some good money. All right, we're coming up on the old plantation house. It's uh, kind of hidden. Maybe you can get a glimpse of it. I think it was built in the 1840s. That's it right out there. Bunch of old outbuildings and such. Yeah, this would be a place to go metal detect. And they've got a whole boulevard of these uh, crepe myrtles. These are some old ones, too. Goes all the way down here to uh, Rucker Road. Alright, player. Alright, we're coming up on Mortar Creek again. It, it zigzags all through the towns here. I've never found anything in this creek, but I'm sure there's stuff around here. It's a nice little, little creek, flows down to the Alabama River. Peter, Peter! <laughs> Alright, later. Well, here's one for Ken Wallace. <laughs> There's your train video. That's two side of line. <laughs> Alright, I'm coming up into Gusada. I don't live but about a half a mile from here, so I'm going to shut this down. And, uh, holler at y'all later. Come on, you dickhead. He's going to turn and he's going to go straight. What an asshole. This is Gusada. They got a fire department, city hall, and a police station right here. <laughs> Check this out. Got a sign says town hall and a pope points across the street. I mean, <laughs> what the hell is that? I mean, you're sitting right in front of the building, they got an arrow pointing where the building's at. I guess that's the nanny state non thinking culture we live in now. I sure appreciate everybody watching. I appreciate all my new friends Dole White 13, JJ Marie. Julie Unruly Brown, Nick, Nick Swish, Stoner Van Houten, Patty, uh, Painful 13, Anarchy Man, and there's a whole bunch more, but it's, it's a good group. Sure enjoy it. Alright, I'm going to go up here and show y'all one last house. It's hard to film it, but it's a uh, it's an old plantation house. It's, I'm not sure, but it's 1820 to 1840, somewhere in there. Country living at its best, man. Hard to believe I'm only about 17 miles from downtown Montgomery. And it's still as freaking country as cornbread up in here. Uh, you might be able to see it. called the Elms. This is one of them, you know, historical protected spots. Like I said, 1820 to 1840, somewhere in there. Alright, I still sure appreciate y'all. I'm fitting to turn here and go to the house. Y'all take care, be safe, find some smokers. Alright, later. Love y'all.